So, hey, everybody. Happy New Year. Um, I was a little bit reluctant to bring in the New Year talking about such a controversial topic, but nonetheless, I believe that it is something that definitely needs to be talked about. So, first and foremost, um, I want to talk about the incident that happened on the airplane with a former actress and an elderly man. Um, if you haven't seen the video, first of all, I, I think it's a good idea just to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Then we're going to talk about that and then a larger conversation that came about because of this video. All right, so first of all, I just want to say that I, I was not planning to give any commentary concerning this video. It had been in my recommendations for a while, and I was like, I already know it's crazy and stupid. And to be honest with you, I was just kind of wanting a break from all of the crazy videos. Um, so it's something that kept popping up in my recommendation. And one person that popped up in my recommendation was Brandon Tatum um, talking about this exact same video. And finally, I guess I decided to give in. I was like, okay, well, what does Brandon Tatum have to say about this? Now, I will tell you, if I was planning to talk about what happened in that video, I would not have watched Brandon Tatum's commentary first. I don't watch other people's commentary before I talk about something because I don't want what they say to influence my original opinion. But because I was pretty certain at the time that I wasn't going to talk about that, I decided, okay, I'll watch and see what Brandon Tatum has to say about it. And I've listened to Brandon Tatum a handful of times. I don't listen to a lot of people very frequently, but the times I have listened to Brandon Tatum, I will say that he's a logical person. He tells the truth. And I happen to enjoy his commentary. And when he was talking about this video, a lot of stuff he said about the woman and her behavior I agreed. I'm like, yeah, her behavior was despicable when he mentioned something about um, maybe she was a little bit tipsy or drunk. I kind of looked at her closely and I said, yeah, that's probably true. Or, you know, maybe she was on some kind of drugs because her behavior was just weird. It was weird. I mean, if you're not wearing your mask, but you're yelling at somebody else for not wearing their mask, and just berating them and going on and on. It's weird. And it's like, what is going on? Like something is off mentally. And apparently this is a former actress. Um, I think she was in Baywatch. And I watched Baywatch a handful of times when I was a kid. So I don't remember her, but I was like, okay. Um, but this woman... The way she was carrying on and yelling at this man and when he called her a B, she got upset. She slapped or punched him. I'm not sure exactly what it was. And she spit on him, which is just disgusting. I mean, you do not spit on somebody. And uh, some people were saying this is elder abuse. And I absolutely agree with that. I, I mean, just abuse in general, to do that to anybody is completely wrong. So... I've said all of that because one, there were a few things Brandon Tatum mentioned in the video that had me kind of like, ooh. And this brings on a larger discussion that we need to have and talk about with each other. And one of the things, some of the things he mentioned in the video was um, the fact that if a woman ever hit him, he would hit her back. OK, he said he's an equal opportunist, which I assume to mean that if you're a woman or a man and you hit him, 
he doesn't care about your gender, he's going to hit you back. That's what I take that to mean. Um, and he also goes on to say, I'm sorry, but that's just how I was raised. And when I heard that, I was like, whoa, it brought on a much larger conversation. So what I did was I went and I looked at the comments and I saw that there were a lot of men who were agreeing with him. And the men in the comments section, they were almost kind of like puffing their chest like, huh, if a woman hits me, you know, she's going to learn. She's going to, you know, get the business or, you know, whatever. It, that's kind of how I took what they were saying. How they were saying it, that's how it came across, right? And a lot of them explicitly stated, if a woman hits me, she's going to learn. You know, I'm going to hit her and... It almost kind of seemed like, I don't know how to really say it, but maybe bragging or chest puffing. And I will say when Brandon said that, I didn't take it that way. I took it as he was just kind of saying it very matter of factly, kind of like, don't try me. Okay. But a lot of people, because Brandon is such a huge influencer, they're like, okay, yeah, basically he's given this green light to hit women back if they hit you right to hit them back if they hit you and a lot of men seemed very relieved kind of like yeah whoo i will knock a woman out if she does that to me um and for some reason that kind of made me feel weird a lot of people have been asking why does society not reprimand women who hit men and I think women have gotten certain consequences for hitting men um, if it's something that you can prove and if it's something that you actually decide to report, if you actually decide to press charges against a woman, um, there have been numerous cases where there were consequences against women. But one thing I will say in regards to that is there is um, some implicit bias where our society makes it seem like it's okay if a woman hits a man. But if a man hits a woman, then our society is all kind of like, oh my gosh, no, this is so wrong, right? And I will say a lot of that probably comes from our media. In movies, TV shows, you will see a woman who slaps a man. And a lot of times that man who is a, a good character, he will not hit the woman back. And this has kind of taught people that, oh, well, you know, if a man does something I don't like, it's okay if I hit that man. But I will say violence is wrong. I don't care what your gender is. I don't care how old you are. If you're a baby, Okay, it's still wrong, but you don't know any better at that age. But especially you being a grown adult, we should know better, better, man or woman, you should know better. So first of all, in regards to that, I just want to say that if we're going back to biblical principles, God created men as protectors for women, right? And protectors of the earth. So if men start treating women like they treat other men, whether it's in a physical confrontation, verbal confrontation, whatever's going on, then the lines start to get blurred, right? Which is ultimately what these powers that be want. They want the lines blurred. They want confusion and they want confrontation between men and women. And I see this a lot where there is a lot of tension between men and women. Um, the whole movement, MGTOW, men going their own way. Um, and this movement is amongst men of all different races, but I would say especially in the Black community. And what the people who are in control, what they want is they want men and women to, to be merged to a point to where people no longer recognize the gender differences, which is ultimately a form of feminism. A lot of people get upset when we see things happening in our media where they're trying to make men and women equal in sports and in all kinds of different things. But when we say stuff like, I'm an equal opportunist, then essentially 
In that regard, you are making men and women equal to each other. The fact of the matter is men and women are not equal to each other. There are biological differences. I was looking at um, this article and there was a study done by, I believe, the University of Utah. And they did a study with fit women and uh, men of different categories, um, fitness categories. And what they concluded was that men's upper bodies on average have 75% more muscle mass and 90% more strength than females. Okay. And they're like, uh, but it's not known why. It's just how God designed men and women. That's pretty much the gist of it. So when we're thinking in terms of the biological differences, we have to take that into account when we're talking about physical confrontations. And so, okay, so I, I need to ask a few questions regarding that. So I wrote down some questions. When men hit women, are women encouraged to hit back? Right, because I, I noticed in, a, in the comment section, a lot of people were saying, that if a woman hits a man, then a man should have the right to hit her back, right? And when we're looking at different confrontations that happen with men hitting women, right? Which is a huge problem too. Do we tell a woman that if a man hits you, that you should just hit him back? No, people don't say that. Why? Because it would not be a fair fight. Men should not be hitting women. Women should not be hitting men. But if somebody of the opposite gender does put their hands on you, should you hit them back? I wouldn't. If a man hits me, I'm not hitting him back. Okay, and I'm going to get into that in, in a little bit here. But I want to go through these questions. Is there another way that a woman can pay for, for her behavior if she puts her hand on a man? Absolutely. It, can you see when it's coming towards you? Can you grab a woman's hands? Reflex? Is there anything else you can do? And that's the question that I want you to answer. If a woman hits you outside of if she hits you, you're going to give her the business like you would another man. Just asking some questions here. Okay, and does this apply to the whole notion if a woman hits you, you're going to hit her back? Does this apply to your spouse, men? Does this apply to your wife? Does this apply to your daughter, your mother, your sister? Where, where do you draw the line? And I, I want to know what happened in our society on a deep level where to the point where men are literally flexing. And I'm not saying, again, Brandon Tatum was flexing, but I saw a lot of comments under his video where it seemed to me men were flexing. They were flexing about the fact that they would hit a woman and almost seemingly proud about it. And, and as a woman, that scares me. Now, it doesn't scare me because I'm going to go around hitting men because I, I'm not going to put my hands on a man. Are you kidding me? And like I said earlier, if a man hits me, I'm not going to hit him back. But don't try me because, you know, I, I have ways of protecting myself. I'm just saying, but I, I'm not going to hit a man back if he hits me because it's not going to be a fair fight. And in addition to that, right, if you say, okay, if a woman hits me, I'm going to hit her back. She hits you again. You hit her back again. And now it's something where you both are going back and forth and it's a full-blown fight. You're literally fighting now at this point with the woman. This is just stuff to think about. Where do you draw the line? You know, there was a study done that says there is way more violence in same-sex relationships than in heterosexual relationships. Why? Because it's equal ground. It's equal playing field. You're both men or you're both women, so you have no boundaries. There are no lines drawn. You know, and one of the things Brandon Tatum said was, well, he, it's just how he was raised. And unfortunately, this is how a lot of people are being raised. And I, somebody who 
was raised a certain way. You know, I believe my mom tried, but I don't think everything I was taught was right. And if we live in a society where you're training your children, okay, if a woman hits you, you hit her back. You know, our society eventually is going to get to a point where they don't see anything wrong with hitting women at all. Because they're going to see this played out as something that's okay, right? You're like, well, no, it's only okay if a woman hits you. Okay, but then you, you got to understand things progressively expand. Because I assure you, in earlier times, if you were to dial back at least 50 years, a lot of men back then, I'm not saying that they didn't hit women because you still had um, abuse. But a lot of men back then, they would never openly flex or talk about the fact that it's okay to hit women under any circumstance. Unless that woman was attacking you, she had some kind of weapon of some kind, and you just had to do it. Right, but we're talking about a slap here, right, where you can grab a woman's hands and you have other options. We're not talking about full-blown attack. That's a different story. You know, and I'm going back to the whole point. If a man hit me, I'm not hitting him back. And at the same time, I'm not hitting a man first. I'm not putting my hands on anybody. Violence is wrong, regardless of your gender, like I said before. You know, I remember when I was a kid, I was on the bus, and I believe I was about eight years old. And there was a girl, I think she was a grade or two under me, and she was just picking on me. I was bullied a lot as a kid. And she was trying to get physical with me. And my reflexes kind of was like, whoo. And I kind of like took her arm like that to try and get her away from me. And then her brother, who was the same grade as I was, he, I believe he was also eight or nine. And he was like, did you just hit my little sister? And I'm just kind of standing there like, because I was so shy and quiet and I was in shock. And he literally takes his hand and he slaps me so hard. And my face was stinging for minutes. I did not hit him back. Why? Because I knew it wouldn't be a fair fight. I would get obliterated. You know, speaking of the whole notion of it not being a fair fight, if an elderly person, like let's say a woman who's 80 years old, if she were to hit me, um... Am I going to like slap me or something like that? Am I going to literally be like across an 80 year old woman's face? No, because, you know, me having a physical confrontation against an 80 year old woman, it wouldn't be a fair fight. Just like if, if a child were to come and put their hands on me, I'm going to grab their hands and I'm going to be like, no, I'm going to hold them. I'm going to restrain them. Because it's not fair for me to have a full-blown fight with somebody where I know physically it's no contest. Just like with a, the video went viral not too long ago where the pro football player, the woman got it on video where her spouse, I'm not sure if it was her husband or significant other, he slaps her across the face and she falls on the floor. She's not good enough to hit him back. Are you kidding me? Having a fight with a man? You know, I said all that to say, Physical confrontation is wrong, and I I want to see a point where uh, gender roles are not ignored. Because, like I said before, that's something that's getting blurred. There definitely needs to be consequences against women who hit men, right? And, of course, there needs to be consequences against men who hit women, which are already mostly in place, right? We all need to know that physical violence is wrong. I don't care who you are, what your background is whatever is wrong. I want to take a poll. I want to see men. Do you think it's wrong to hit a woman back if she hits you first? Do you think that there are other ways you can go about it if a woman hits you first? Leave a comment below. And I'm not sure if, if this is something that's kind of like more modern for millennial men or Gen Z men, but I want to hear from men. And if you don't mind if you want to leave like what age group you kind of fall into, you don't have to leave your exact age. Like if you're 20s, 30s, 40s, 
60s, 70s. Let me know what your opinion is and what age group you fall into, if you don't mind, so that we can see, is this more of a modern thing or is this um, something... It, or is this something that has kind of always been into place? Okay, so anyway, I just wanted to leave that comment um, about that. Let me know what you think. And like I said, it is okay if we don't agree, but let's just do so respectfully. Thank you so much for watching though. And I hope you enjoy your new year. God bless you. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one.